Okay, we're gonna find out what the uh, deflection is on this particular ball screw. Let it set up here on the mill on some couple of E-blocks. And see the needle moves a little bit as I uh, go back and forth. So I wanna find the high spot. I'll rotate it here. Put the high spot at the top. In uh, rotation, looks like it's about there, and I'm going to go back and forth. Oh. Looks like it's somewhere right around there. Just to make sure I'm going to rotate it again. See, there's probably about about ten to twelve thousandths worth of deflection. Okay, I want to see how straight these uh, ball screws are. This is the one, the two twenty millimeter, two thousand five uh, ball screw that I got from Linear Motion Bearing, two thousand eight, uh, for my X axis on this mill when I retrofitted to CNC. Um, so I've got it set up here in a couple of V blocks spaced around oh, approximately 12 to 14 inches apart. And I got the indicator out here on the end to see how much deflection. It seems like most of the, the bend is on this outside edge here on this uh, left hand side of the screw. Um, and you can see as I turn it here, I've got it measuring on the bearing seat. There's about 50 thou. A little bit over 50 thousandths worth of deflection. Alright, so now I've got it set up here where uh, I think about the most deflection is. If I run it back and forth this way, you can see that's. Anywhere around there is in the high spot, and as I rotate, I get about ten thousandths. So, I'm gonna see if I can straighten this thing up. Okay, I had to bend this thing down using the press until. It started at about 50 all the way around, um, let's see, that's what, 100 thousandths, 110, 115 thousandths uh, deflection before I got it down to about zero. I went about 5 thousandths at a time, increasing it, there you see the high spot, there what was a high spot, if I rotate it under here. The needle just barely even moves. So it actually seemed to have straightened up pretty nicely. Okay, so now I've got it set up uh, back like I had before. Before I was showing 50 to 55 thousandths deflection in this uh, configuration. And I'll spin it again and we'll see how much improvement I got. So there's a low spot, it's about 40. And the high spot's about 56, 57. So I went from about 50 to 55 to 17. So I made a pretty significant improvement, but it's not completely straight yet. So let's see if I can make it any better. Okay, so I uh, moved the V-blocks closer together. They were right at about 14 inches before, and now I moved them to about 10 inches apart. Um, 
hopefully keep the deflections down uh, not quite as much as they were before and I found the high spot just like I did before rotated the ball screw till I found the highest point and then I moved it left and right till I found the highest point and now I'm measuring at this point about here let's see so let's start about there rotate and I'm only getting three or four thousandths difference there so it's not too bad it really gets amplified out on the end so let's see how much better I can make this one okay I've got it swapped around the other end just to measure deflection on this end and let's see what it is here looks like it's about sixteen thousandths worth of difference here measuring on this uh, bearing seat <clears throat> so I'll make sure that that uh, is taken care of as well okay so I couldn't really locate the any more high spots I was getting about plus or minus a thousandth and then when I measured it on the end I'd get about 15 I couldn't really pin it down to any one spot so I took it and put it on my granite countertop in the kitchen and uh, rolled it and I could see that it was seemed to be just kind of a nice even warp along the whole thing uh, with the high point being more or less in the center so I separated out my uh, v-blocks as you can see to about the full width of the table here and uh, I'm gonna try to bend it from here so right now you can see when I turn it here I get about ten thousandths difference uh, in the in the middle so let will see if I can fix this okay so it's getting a whole lot better I got it from about nine or ten thousand thousandths down to about three to four I just wanted to show the procedure so uh, I got a mark here on this little mark on there is straight up that means a high spot should be up over here in the middle and it's taking quite a bit of deflection since these uh, supports are so far apart so the last time I went four complete turns of the dial and around to 70 so this time I'm going to go four turns and around to 60 like so one two three four and on to 60 right there and back off now I'm going to spin it and see what the deflection change is and so I'm going from about plus two Four. So I'm only seeing two thousands, maybe just over two thousands worth of deflection now. So I'll put the high spot back up over here, like so. And now we'll go four turns and around to 50. One, two, three, four, on to 50. And you can see that's quite a bit of deflection here. Makes it more obvious like that. And now I will back off. Now I'll spin it again. And there's plus four. just seems to be about the same didn't make much difference but that's the procedure that I'm using okay so <clears throat> I straightened it about as much as I can tell and you can see here that uh, spin this thing and there's really not hardly any movement at all and I can move it to different places and I get the same thing fairly perceptible so I think that's about as good as my measuring tools are going to let me get it so there we go